This is my second video that I'm making right now for the 23rd of December 2017, Saturday, and uh, my other video just stopped all of a sudden, it just stopped randomly, and I didn't do that, and this has happened in the past, and it happens to other other people, there's a lot of problems that people have sometimes, and they're very, very, very disappointed about that, and um, in the future, I would like to have uh, more, more computers, more phones, more, more, uh, cameras so that I can do a lot of live streams from different places all at the same time in case one stops the other one can continue and stop it I feel like that's better and everything but um I'm very very disappointed that the other video stopped all of a sudden this, this has happened already before and I'm not the only one the, with these problems a lot of people are, are, are having problems with with this kind of stuff there's a lot of stuff that's happening but I would encourage you to do the right thing. If you know what the right thing is, do it and stand up. Stand up for what is right. Stand up for what you believe in. And fight for what is right. When I say fight, I don't mean like physically speaking. But it's just like, you got to make a difference. So if you want to make a difference, you can do whatever you want. I mean, you know, but this is life. And a lot of things are happening. Merry Christmas, if you don't already know. Merry Christmas 2017. Christmas Eve tomorrow, Sunday, and it's going to be really great. So what do you think about that? What are your favorite memories? I'm just going to say it. You know, I love Christmas. I love all the holidays. And, you know, think about that. Think about the reason. The reason for the season is all behind a, a man who is the creator and he became the man who came to die for us and, and only he could do it and if you know that that's great and you can tell other people about that because it's totally different than everything else because it's it's bigger and it's better and and a lot of great things are happening and I'm on Facebook because a lot of people are on Facebook you know there's like two two billion two billion people or so on Facebook, billion with a B, like lots of people, and, and everybody knows Facebook and YouTube and Twitter and the big ghetto websites, the big ghetto websites, big big websites where a lot of people go to, and people people are getting addicted to Facebook and stuff, and people are getting sad and depressed and stuff because of Facebook and some of the bigger websites, and that's that's very sad and very unfortunate. And I'm talking a little bit faster because I feel like. This video is gonna, it's gonna stop too, maybe, just like the other video stopped all of a sudden, and it's very, very sad and unfortunate. And, and Facebook does stuff that China does, that North Korea does, and that's kind of unfortunate. But the good news is that America is rising, it's going up, and that's helping the whole world, and and will continue to help the world in so many ways. Economically speaking, creatively, cre creatively, how do I say that? But anyways, what am I trying to say? I'm just trying to say that uh, a lot of great things are happening and I'm very happy. And I really hope that you can see that there's a lot of things that one person can do. You can do a lot more than you know, but you got to take it one step at a time. And Facebook is a tool that I use. And like anything, it can be a problem if you don't know how to use it correctly. And if you waste your time in, in something, it can totally hurt you in, in your life. Because you have a lot of potential and you have a lot of things that you can do and it could be really, really good and great and really hope that you can see it if you don't already know. If you, if, if you know what you're able to do, then I encourage you to, to find some disciples or a group of people that you can interact with because that's what it's all about, you know, like family and friends and stuff like that and... And it's really good to to be good and to to have a lot of fun and to learn and to pay it forward and everything, you know, like it's great.
Somebody said that my voice is a little bit slow or soft or something. Oh, that's too bad. I don't know how to do any better than that, but I'll just do what I do. And I eat oatmeal. I love basketball. I love, love doing what I do. And I'm oatmeal Joey Earl. And I do whatever I can. And maybe, maybe you're being sarcastic. I got a comment here from Safula Kantoraman. And he's saying that. I don't know what he means. If he means that, like, literally or not. Like, if he does, okay. I don't know what to say about that. But I can only say, hey. Um, I'm very, very happy to be able to do what I do. I'm a little bit overwhelmed because at the moment I'm not really able to do everything and I feel like I'm in a dead end and I feel a little bit sad and depressed in some ways to some extent. But that happens a lot for a lot of people and so I'm not the only one with these kinds of problems that I'm not trying to say that I am, and I'm, I'm just a little bit, uh, unable to see where I am, like right now, I'm not really able to see myself, like, with, um, my perspective, with my, my ability to, um, collect my thoughts and to continue to write my biography, my autobiography, the story of my life and everything, and, and to continue to do what I do, and I really, really got to get back to that, because, because, because that's, that's who I am, the L for OJ, that's who I am, the, that get your joy on G Y G O. No, what is it? G. It's like um, a lot of times people forget who they are. When you forget who you are, you have to go back to where you're from to uh, to get it back. Like for me, go back to the Arnold attic, perhaps. But maybe that's not the only reason why I go back. Because maybe I didn't really have to. And I, I, I feel like people don't really know that. People, people may not know, and that's a little bit unfortunate. Maybe it doesn't really matter, or maybe it does matter. I don't know. Yeah, so, I know that perception is a very strong thing. It's like a drug, and people are very controlled by their emotions, their feelings, by their perception. People only know what they know, and people only want to know what they already know. And that's a little bit unfortunate, like, like, take, take uh, Donald Trump, for example. People who like him, like him. And people who don't like him, may never like him. And that's unfortunate, because that means they're very clouded by their own preconceived perception of their ideas that Donald Trump is a terrible person or whatever, a racist, and, and uh, you know, a, a pedophile, a raper, you know. A rapist, I mean, like, people have these ideas because other people told them Donald Trump did this, Donald Trump said that. Now, you may not know the whole story, unfortunately. You may not know everything. Unless if you're in God or something, or some kind of know it all, and you know everything, that's great. Then you know you're talking about, but if you don't, then maybe you don't, because if you don't know everything, then maybe you could be wrong about something, and that's unfortunate, because then you have to later on say, you know, maybe I was wrong about something that I 
thought, something that I believed, something that, that, that I did, that I felt. It takes a lot of uh, gut to admit when you're wrong. A lot of people don't want to do that, so they have to come up with another, another thing to help them explain why they did what they did, why they said what they said, or believed, or thought, or felt whatever that they, that they did. I heard Scott Adams talk about this, and I really like it when he talks about it. He's the creator of Dilbert, the Dilbert comics, and he's very, very interesting. He has my middle name, Scott, he is my middle name, and so I like to listen to Scott Adams. The creator of Dilbert is very, very interesting, and I try my best to learn from different kinds of people all around the world, and that's something that we all can do. So I learned a little bit from Cheryl Fick, Alex Jones, Scott Adams, some other people too. I like to go to treasurereport.com, minds.com. Steamer.com, Infowars.com, Infowarsstore.com. I like to go to Cernovic.com, DuckDuckGo.com, Gap.ai, Minds.com, Medium.com. I like to go around and listen to a lot of people different kinds of people sometimes I will stop listening to some people from some videos on YouTube and then I will only listen to other people but I want to take the time to digest different kinds of people and different kinds of philosophies and ideas and stuff and figure it out and I like debates I like argue, arguing a little bit if it has a purpose behind it a deeper purpose and stuff. I don't like small talk so much and I like to have a lot of fun too. I like music. I like basketball. I like a lot of sports and games and stuff. And I don't like to waste a lot of time. I don't like to do the same thing over and over again. I don't, I don't like a lot of repetitions and stuff. But I just like to, um, you know, I like to I like, I like Nintendo, I like a lot of things, and I'm happy that there's there's Christmas, even though I'm not doing anything, because I don't, know, I don't have anything planned, so I can't say that anything will happen or not, but I really do feel like I'm a little bit too old, and I really do want to start a Joey Arnold show every day, and a Joey Arnold network, and I want to have a house, I want to have cars, I want guns, I want cryptocurrencies and I want, I want a lot of things I want I want this and that and, 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 and then I want to be able to you know give back to the community give back to other people and help other people and encourage and entertain and all this kind of stuff because it's it's fun not just because it's good to do it or better or whatever but because I enjoy doing it I enjoy doing what I do and that's why I do what I do and I just try to do as much as I can. I like to be my own boss and I want to be as independent as possible and I feel like it's better that way and I like it when there's more freedoms as much as possible and I feel like it's better that way and, and uh, that's what I like and I like to tell people what I think and you can disagree and you can ask me questions and that's what my videos are. Are all about and so it's great if there were a lot of people watching my videos because it could be a lot of fun and stuff but most of the people don't really like me and that's okay people don't like me and I just live on an island with with uh, Luke Skywalker and then I can tell him some jokes and tell him not to burn those old Jedi books oh spoiler alert for the last Jedi if you saw the movie the eighth Star Wars movie, and I really don't like how sad Luke Skywalker was. But it's you know it's too bad, but you know what can you do? You know, uh, I'm not a Jedi, but I am a wannabe Jedi, a Christian maybe. I'm definitely, but 
You know, I want to follow the light. I want to be in the light. That's you're in the light. You know, you just want to just want to have fun. Girls just want to have fun, and guys want to have fun too. And it's better that way. Why not? That, that's how the cookie crumbles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So tell me what you think if you're watching, if you're listening. Tell me what you think. Um, I'm gonna try to focus. I'm gonna try to focus more now and stop the video, even though I would rather just record everything all day long, record myself all the time. I I hate that, but. If I'm, if I'm talking and I'm not I'm not writing and I'm not doing stuff on the computer and I came here to do stuff so I'm not going to get some stuff done. I'm a little bit disappointed when people say that I don't do stuff and I do do stuff and I think my time is worth a lot. And I still got to do a lot of stuff and I'm telling people that and people are like, okay, do the stuff. And I'm like, well, it's a little bit hard. It's very difficult to do the stuff that I want to do. And I'm, you know, I'm kind of like a George Lucas. Back in the, in the 70s, not able to do what he wanted to do in the prequels, so he had to wait like 20 years in order to do the stuff he wanted to do in the prequels. He couldn't do The Phantom Menace, you know, Star Wars, the first three movies, The Phantom Menace and uh, the, uh, the Attack of the Clones and The Revenge of the Sith. In the 70s, like George Lucas couldn't do everything. And then he came out with a special edition about 20 years later, about 20, 20 years later. It's like he had to wait. And I feel a lot like him, like probably some other people do. We, we all have this in common where we're in this kind of situation and stuff. So it's not, it's not like I'm the only one. I'm not Tigger from Winnie the Pooh. I'm not the only one. And a lot of times we will say that we're the only one, but we're not the only ones, and the truth is out there. I'm going to try to watch um, the third season of Fuller House in a few days when it comes out, a few days after Christmas, probably the, the 28th of December 2017, and that's good. It's the 23rd of December 2017. Right now it's Saturday, tomorrow's Christmas Eve, and... and uh, I'm a little bit behind schedule with a lot of things, and I'm telling you this because it's very important. Even if you don't know, I'm telling you. If you are here, you probably want to know what's happening in my life. And uh, we had some macaroni. We had macaroni last night, and my, my father was really, really drunk last night, and he was yelling at Robin for hours from like 9 to 11 or so. I came out of the house and everything, and I recorded some of that, and that was good, and took some pictures of a few things, and that's good. And, Still working on a lot of things. I'm still behind this schedule, and, and I really, really gotta figure things out. And I probably really do need help in a lot of ways. I really need your help, but you know, I don't know if there's anybody out there. And I decided to make the video like this for um for phones instead of the white screen, and that's okay. But I actually like the white screen more. But for the live video, they they don't do the high resolution, so it's not going to be like a 1080p, probably going to be something like a 480p or something, which is okay, but maybe not good enough, not enough details, or maybe you don't need it, maybe I don't need it, or maybe nobody needs that, that would be good, but I, I like things that are better, and I like, you know, I like always going to the next level, I like to be more clear and everything, and, and um, I um, still gotta work. I still gotta work on a lot of things. Uh, I still want to say more, and I still want to do a lot of things, but I can't do it all right now, and that's very unfortunate because I have these ideas for so many things. We're talking movies. We're talking books. We're talking. You know, for classes, you know, if, you know, I can have classes, I can have books, I can have websites, I'll do 
there are so many things that's in my head, in my brain that I want to get it out. And I want to, you know, there, there are some things I've done in my life. I'm 32 and, and I've done some things, but I really want to do more and I got a lot of potential. And I know you do too, maybe some of you do. I don't think I want to work for other people. My mother, my mother, my mommy, my mom, my mama. Marilyn Mitchell is my mom. Marilyn Mitchell. And she wrote, maybe you can work for somebody in Shelton, in Washington, Washington State, the state above Oregon. And I say, hey, sounds like you miss Senga. Perhaps I do. And uh, see, the thing, thing about that is I do and I don't. Um, obviously, I care about the people and I miss the food, I miss the people. But I really do love my country more and that's why I came back because it's better in the in the long run. In the long run it's better to be here. I tell you I tell you it really is better. It's not gonna be better right now because because of everything. It's happening and everything. The situation at the moment is not very good. I have a little bit of perspective about what's gonna happen in the future. You can see it with the economy in America and the whole world and a lot of great things, a lot of bad stuff too. At the same time, it's always that war, the tug of war, tug of war thing, the civil war all around the world with the revolutions and everything, with the war on ideas and everything is going back and forth. And but a lot of good things are happening and, and I want to be a part of that revolution. I want to be a part of the, like, the, the, the Donald Trump revolution, the, uh, Make America a great revolution that is making the whole world better and everything. And unfortunately, I live in a state that's very, very left, very leftist, very blue, 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 very sad and stuff like that, you know. And and um, I feel like I have no like friends here offline in, in the city where I live. I feel like I, I I don't really have good enough like good enough like like friends partners contacts here. I mean online I don't know because online you have the whole world online so I can't I can't really s like say a lot about online but offline I can say I feel like I'm not really in the place that I should be but. I decided to be here, so this is what I'm gonna do at the moment because I want to make sure that, that I finish everything on the right note. Even though I didn't finish everything on the right note in Saigon, in Vietnam, I'm gonna try to do that in Oregon. I'm always doing things to make things better. I'm always working on things to change things for myself, for other people. I do a lot of things. I don't always tell. So we're having problems with my stream. I don't know why. It could be any number of things and combinations of things. Uh, the live stream stops and stops. So I just want to uh, tell everybody and tell my mom. And I'm, I'm working on a lot of things and I'll let people know as I do it and I probably need a lot of help and I've been doing a lot of things for a very long time. If you don't already know, that's too bad and maybe you'll never know or maybe you will because I'm going to try to let people know. I'm going to try to be a little bit more clear and stuff about what I'm doing step by step with the different things that, I, that I'm working on because you know, I gotta, I gotta do this, gotta do that and step by step or maybe in the wrong order, maybe in the right order. but. But it's a long story, it's very complex and everything, and, and you know, like I, like I said, I have all these ideas and everything, I really want to do this, do that, and like I said, like, it's just very, very difficult to do, very difficult, and, and I've been trying to do whatever I could, but there's so many different things that kind of have, have to happen at the same time, like, you have to do this, in order to do that, and then you have to do this again, but then first you gotta do this before you can do that, but if you do that first, you can't do, I mean, what if you do this and then that thing doesn't work and then you can't do this thing? So you have to think, you have to think a lot about your priorities, and you have to think, okay, which one is more important? 
and I can I can make a list right now. I can make a list. So my mother is leaving another comment about uh, being qualified for a certain job about teaching English. You know, that basically that's the job that some people have. Uh, is it my job? That's another question. And I've been talking to my mother for the last like five or so years about this one thing, this one topic, this one job, this one career thing. And it may or may not be the right thing because it's not very simple. Now my mom always makes it out to be simple. I would say too simple because I think that it's not the whole thing. It's not the whole story. Like you have to think a little bit more deeper and you have to think of everything. They, they, there are a lot of problems with getting a certificate. Any certificate. Some certificates are a little bit easier to get, but for the most part, a lot of the good certificates take a lot of money. Some of them will take a thousand or two thousand dollars. But then, like for me, I have to think, okay, well, I'm probably still in debt. I probably still have a school loan. It could be a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars or so. You know, I could owe a bank some money. I could owe some other people money. So there could be like thousands and thousands of dollars that that I could be in debt or will be in debt. You know, and 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 that's not too bad compared to some people with uh, with with a bigger debt of like you know hundreds of thousands of dollars and stuff. So I'm not doing so bad with that, but but I would agree to 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 be as simple and as frank as possible for people. I would agree that that being focused is a really good thing. And when you're focused, then 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 you know you're where you're going. Now I've been pretty focused. But I, I, I can always be more focused. But it takes time to clarify your your vision for for where you want to go. But at the same time, it's it's important to to be able to commit to where you're going in your life. You should not really like live your life running from debt. Like I think it's a very bad idea to always like run away from debt. You have to make sure that you can, you know, not be in debt, or whatever, you know, pay it off and stuff. But um, see the thing about. Like, like for for me, you know, you could ask me, do you want to be just a normal English teacher? You know, go get a degree, get some certificates like normal English teachers. And if I were to say, it, it, you know, if I were to say, yeah, yes, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, I want to be a normal English teacher, then the logical thing would be just to get, uh, you know, teaching certificates and everything like like normal English teachers do and that's what people do. That's what people do. So the question would then be why am I not doing that? And it's because that's not really where I'm going. Because there are a lot of limitations that that are there, it seems. And it seems to be that it's not going to work the way you want it, the way that you plan it. That's what Luke Skywalker said in the last movie, and and I totally agree. Like, like um, because 
because I'm not like an English teacher. I'm, I am and I'm not at the same time. Like I'm, I'm not gonna be a normal person, a normal employee. I might be an employer, but I'm not an employee. A little bit like Donald Trump, he was not a politician, he became the president, you know, like, I would say that. I still got to think about a lot of things, I'm still working on a lot of things, and, and I might be in some kind of crossroad, some kind of fork in the road, and that's okay, and a lot of people have these moments in life where they have to decide which way they want to go and I decided a long time ago that I'm going to do what I do and I'm not going to stop. If I were to stop, then that would totally go against everything that I believe in and everything and I may stop in some kind of way to do something that's kind of normal for a while but that may not be something I do forever, and that's okay too, but at the same time, it wouldn't be a surrender. That's what I say, so. But, I would say never. Like, never say never. Like, I, I'm not here to say that that there are certain things I would never do. But I don't want to be the one that says, yeah, I have to do this and I have to do that. Like, for example, one example, like you said, you know, one example, getting a certificate to teach English. Like, a lot of people are like, gotta do that. But it's very, dangerous to to promote an idea like that and to be so blinded by what that represents what that piece of paper represents because a lot of people have been abusing those papers those certificates and diplomas and i've seen them i've met them i've met these people these alleged English teachers and other kinds of teachers and other professions, other professions, you know, other people with these documents, these certificates and stuff. And, and documents are better in a lot of, a lot of ways, especially with immigration. Documents are really good, but they're not perfect, but they're probably better than anything else. You know, always got to think about what your choices are, your alternatives, your options are. You, know, you got to think about that. Think about what is the better thing. But at the same time, you got to think, where will that take you? Because will it make other people like you more? Will it make you be able to get more money, to get more, you know, more likes, more accreditation? Like, will it be foolproof? You gotta ask those questions. You gotta ask yourself those questions. I would say that is a good thing to do. My mother wrote another comment. She said, read books and summarize them for people. That's good. And it's good to do that. It's good to to do that. And it's good for people to do that like me and you and some people. It's it's a good, it's better, it's better. So that is something I do, I try to do sometimes. I don't do it a lot. I'm gonna try to do it more. Those kinds of things. Review videos, videos like that and other things too. And It's difficult, it's very difficult, but uh, it's just difficult. Uh, so if you want to know if this video may stop at any time, 
because that's what Facebook does. Apparently, it seems the live stream will stop. It will stop randomly. If I don't end it, it will end itself. That's too bad. It's very bad. Yeah, I don't like it. Maybe it's my phone. I don't know. Maybe it's both. Maybe it's my phone and Facebook working together. But I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but... And if you don't know, I don't have any plans for Christmas 2017. And I don't really know what I'm going to do, but um, I do always have a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, I got a lot of stuff to work on. I do. I really do. And sometimes I feel a little bit lonely, a little bit lonely in the sense that people don't really know. Like who I am, what I do, and I try to tell people, but people don't really know. Some people know, not a lot of people know, and I don't know what to think about that. I don't really know, but I try to make the most of that. Okay, I'm trying to make the most of that, but um, I think it's good to um, make videos. And to force yourself to make videos, to write, to, you know, make a song, to plant a garden, to say hello to somebody, to smile at somebody, each day, like every day, make a video, every day, write something, every day, go outside and run around, smile, every day, each day, every day, in the morning, do this, every day. Every morning, you know, read a, little, read a little bit of the Bible, say a little prayer, sing a little song, say hello to somebody. Each day, you know, maybe do some exercise, or maybe play a game, you know, maybe uh, play some basketball or something else, and you know, have a little bit of fun, a little bit of some fun, and maybe learn something, and then try to tell somebody something that you learned, and I think that is something that. I do sometimes. I don't always do that, but I think that if you do that, you will you will have a better life. If, um, if anybody wants to know, like, there's a lot of things I want to do and I try to do. At the moment, I'm very, very limited. Very, very limited because of where I live and because of all the, all the things I'm required to do. That, that prevents me from doing the other things that I really should do. And there's that war going on between the things I want to do and other things I really need to do and the other things that I have to do for my dad. And that's too bad. And so I feel very, very unable to do everything because there's not enough time. And a lot of people can say, but you're making a video, so obviously you do have enough time. But I would say this video is not really a window into my life. I'm literally stopping my life make, to make a video. Like, this is not my life. I don't just sit around looking at videos, looking at cameras, looking at camcorders. I don't do that. I, mean, I do that sometimes. I mean, I, I do that because, because, because I really want to, but, um, <laughs> there was a lot of great things happening 10 years ago. When I went to my second college at 
ABC. ABC was my second cause, Appalachian Bible Club in West Virginia. And, and that is who I am. And I've been going away from that since then. So for the last 10 years, I've drifted a lot. Not, not all the time, not, not in everything, but in, in a lot of ways. And that's what I'm trying to go back to. That's what I'm trying to go back to in a lot of things, and I'm, in a lot of ways. I, I really want people to know who I am, who I was, who I'm going to be. Like, I really want people to see that, but a lot of people are not able to see that at the moment. That's too bad, but it's okay because I need more time to um, uh, build a foundation. I'm trying to build a foundation, I'm trying to build a structure. Then I can go back and I can build from that. But it takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of work with the foundation. And I know you probably don't know exactly what I mean because I'm just talking in some kind of metaphor, some kind of parable, or whatever. So I'm not really explaining what I'm talking about. Being very general, but I have to, or I want to. I made him do that. But, um, I'm not, I'm not going to leave this room, even though I could probably just continue to talk and stuff, but that will probably stop me from doing the other stuff. I could probably do a bunch of stuff and talk at the same time. And I've done that sometimes, but I feel like I really don't want to do that. I mean, I don't want to do that, and I don't want to do that at the same time. Trying to make this video mostly for myself because because I need it. Maybe maybe I need it for the future. Maybe I don't. I don't really know. But I'll I'll think about that later. I'll decide that when I come to it. But but I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm making a video, but it's okay. It's okay, it's okay to make videos of yourself. It's okay to take pictures of yourself. Some people will say, oh no, don't do that. Stop, stop doing it. And it could be a bad thing. It could be a bad thing, you know. It could be a bad thing if you're all like looking at yourself a little bit too much, looking in the mirror, putting too much makeup on, doing doing certain things a little bit too much and stuff. Like, There's a time and season for everything, for or maybe not for everything, but there's a time and season for a lot of things. There's a, there's a time to sleep and a time to be awake. There's a time to love and a time to fight. And time for the sun, and time for the moon, time for the grass, and time for the dirt. Sophism. Sophism. So this is something my mom been saying, and other people say it too. They say, hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta stop doing this. You gotta stop like being all about yourself and being all uh, just thinking about yourself and, and only about yourself. And I would say, if it was all about myself, I wouldn't go on the internet because why would I need to go on the internet to? to show other people who I am stuff. Maybe some people do that, but if you were to really be all about yourself and really selfish, like some people might say that Joey Arnold Oatmeal is selfish, but if I was, then I really wouldn't want to show you anything bad about me, anything that's negative about myself. And I try to make myself look perfect, perfect. You know, like I don't really do that. I don't only show just the good side about me and I try to show the baddest parts of me and I've made myself look terrible and, and not perfect and stuff and relatable and stuff and 
many, many times, and that has turned people off and got a lot of people not to like me and stuff and all kinds of stuff over the years, over the over many, many years. And, and I've done all kinds of stuff for a lot of different reasons and stuff. And, and I kind of want to show people that I'm a real person. I'm a real person, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I am a real person and stuff, and I'm not trying to... Make people think that, that that I'm just like some kind of like oh I'm an angel I'm a god I'm a I only care about myself and stuff. Now you may think that, but that's unfortunate because it's not true. Because I do care about other people, but maybe I'm not really letting people know that. Maybe I'm not, you know, making it appear that way. Maybe maybe people don't have that perception. Maybe I don't have that reputation. Maybe. Maybe this and maybe that. You know, there's a lot of maybes out there. What's what ifs and maybes that we can talk about, that we can go through. We can make a big list of like, why do you do this? Why do you do that? Why do you say that? Why do you do? Like, why do you say this or that and do this or do that? Like, we can talk about that. But the bottom line is, is that we are people, and and. We're family, like, people are full of potential, people are full of creativity, and it's amazing what people are able to do, and I encourage people to get back to a lot of traditions and a lot of family values and a lot of, a lot of, a lot of good things. Sometimes I may not understand what people are saying, and you may not understand what I'm saying. Like, I may read a, read a comment incorrectly, and then I may go down a rabbit trail about talking about something that's not related to what the, the comment was all about. So maybe I'm guilty of that. No, actually, I am guilty of that more than I would probably admit. And let's see, um, what can I say now? I can say a lot of things. I made some coffee this morning, but I put too much coffee in there. It's a little, little bit too strong, perhaps. That's what Robin said. But I did it because that's what Jamie said. He said, hey, you, you should do it this morning. He said that last night when I was really like, drunk. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to do it. And I did it this morning, even though I, was, I didn't actually say I was going to do it. I wasn't sure, but then I did it. Sometimes in life, you, you just got to two things. Sometimes, even if you don't really want to do it. But sometimes you got to be smart enough to know when to do certain things and when not to do certain things and not just to do what you're expected to do. You should try your best to think outside the box and have fun with as many people as possible. That's what I say. That's what I say. So, with that, I'm going to say um, if you want to help me, help me. That'd be great. I would love that. But. I don't want to be accused of being some kind of beggar because I'm not a beggar, but not every, everybody's begging, actually. If you think about it, everybody's begging. Even Disney, everybody wants money. Everybody wants stuff. Everybody wants love. And so everybody's, like, begging. When when you see an advertisement and you see marketing and you see a commercial, that's begging. Even though it doesn't look like they're begging and stuff, everybody's begging. Everybody's asking other people for help. And it's good when we help each other if you want to but not be forced through taxes and stuff man. it's better it's better it's better to want to help but it's also good to know how to help and everything and that's good and then and it's good to have more freedoms and to choose who you want to be and who you want to help or who you want to hang out with and everything and that's good and that's great that's what i'm trying to say and so i still got a lot of work to do and i'm still in the middle of a lot of stuff and Things are not really working totally, and I'm in the middle of that, and I'm trying to figure things out, and I'm trying to 
get things to work in. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do a lot of things, but I'm going to continue. And I want you to know that. I want you to know that. Uh, um, I'm a little bit, like, emotional, but at the same time, I'm not totally emotional. I'm pretty happy, but I'm pretty sad, and pretty a lot of things. Angry and sad and happy. Some people can say, oh no, he needs a therapist. Like my older sister, maybe. I mean, some people can say that, and that's, that's interesting to say, because we kind of have this belief that we need therapists a little bit too much. We need counselors and therapists and psychology, you know, drugs and stuff, medicine, a little bit too much. And that's unfortunate. That's one of the things that I care about a lot. I care about all the people that are hooked on too many drugs, too many medicine, foods, chemotherapy. It's not working. There are better ways to take care of yourself and to have a better life. If you were just to stop it, you'd probably feel better. Or you can experiment and try it. Stop Stop eating bread for a week and see how you feel. Stop eating this. Stop eating that for like a day, for a week or something. And then come back, you know, write it down, have a food diary and then Come back and talk to other people, maybe talk to doctors, maybe talk to your family, maybe order yourself, whatever. Do something, but try it, experiment, you know, do a test like you're a, you're a scientist. And and maybe, maybe you'll feel better and you probably will, you know, if you have like less salt, less sugar, less bread, less meat, less medicine. A lot of medicines and drugs are are counterproductive and not so good and, and 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 you know it deep inside you probably know it you probably know that you felt better when you're not taking certain things in your diet the food that you eat or the food you don't eat you can eat more times a day little smaller meals that's one of the things I'm passionate about is is food diet exercise those kinds of things those things are a little bit more understandable that's good that's very very i mean it's very very good so that's one of the things that that i keep going back to it's one of the reoccurring themes in my life i keep going back to that and and i probably should focus on that more and technology probably those two things that maybe maybe some philosophy and religion, those kinds of things. I talk about those things. I talk about history to other people. I just mostly want to continue to do what I do without too many other things. But there are you know, a bunch of other things that I'm going to do too, and some of the things that I don't want to do, I'm going to do too. Maybe, you know, but I'm not really going to tell people which of those things I may or may not do because it, it may or may. It may or may not be a good idea or something, but that's a long story, but I'm telling you. And I'm, I'm not really saying anything at the moment because it's not important. But, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Merry Christmas. Goodbye.